Yeah, hey, I'm um, Claire Reeves. I'm CEO at Hipster Whale. And uh, we're here today to talk about Crossy Road Castle. <laughs> oh my goodness, this isn't just a chicken crossing the road. No, um, this is the Crossy Road characters are back and they're playing a whole new game now. Um, so we've got an endless arcade tower of um, multiplayer mayhem. We've got one person playing at the moment, but this is a multiplayer game. What made you decide that you wanted to do like a action platforming game? Well, I think just in what Hipster Whale does, which is like bright, funny, accessible games, but we, we make games that have that deep gameplay for the players who, who want it and who seek that. Um, a game in this style, this, this arcade style, um, crosses that gamut. It means anyone can join, people can play at their own pace, and we've got a game that's accessible for new players, but has that depth for the experienced players. That's awesome. I'm totally... I, I mean, I'm just guessing, like, off the top of my head that Super Mario was, was kind of an influence <laughs> here. Uh, uh, so many things are such an influence, to be honest. Like, our team, I think... Um, like sometimes I'm like, man, I must be really old because <laughs> like I have all these all these reference games, and I'm like, I remember when you played at arcades and you would crowd around arcade machines and play together and have that conversation with each other, like that. That's really I think what inspired us is that people coming together and playing a game together and that interaction that goes on between the people while they're playing. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. This is is this your first like multiplayer co-op game? For hipster well, yeah, yeah. Um, we had. Um, like in in Crossy Road, you can play two player on the one device, but yeah, this is this is the this is, this is the real deal. Right? <laughs> yeah, this is proper multiplayer co-op. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I can definitely, I can definitely see what you say, like harkening back to those days of like arcade co-op action. Like you're gonna be able to play through all of this like on your own or with a group of friends, right? Yeah, and you'll get like a different experience, obviously. Um, there's also different ways that people play. So some people are going to play this game and they're just going to want to clear it as fast as they can. Some people are collectionists. They're going to pick up every coin. Um, we've seen people, you know, take this game in a whole bunch of ways. And we're really excited, actually, to see people play it and just see how they play it and how they like to play it. Nice. You think there's going to be like a speedrunning audience for this? Yes. <laughs> And we've probably put in a few little Easter eggs for those people, yeah. Even when we were playing, like, you told me we missed a hidden door. Yeah, so there's heaps of, um, in true, you know, Crossy Road style, there's heaps of secrets hidden in here. Um, we've got lots of characters to unlock, but there's secret doors. So as you're playing, watch out for some green doors and see if you can find them all. I'm not going to give away the secrets here. <laughs> That's fair enough, yeah. And I mean, I've even, like, you know, we've got, like, the, you got the shooting barrels, which, like, harken back to Donkey Kong Country for me, at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, gosh, I can't even remember where the shooting barrels came from in our design process. We went through so many iterations of different mechanics that like trying to find that balance between things that people can understand really quickly and get into, but then you can really like explore them and do interesting level design with them. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, you know, when you hear a new Crossy Road game is coming out, like were there a lot of people, I'm not crossing the road anymore. Were you, were you, was that a big concern or do you feel like your fan, your fans are like going to be behind, like, you know, you trying out new things? Yeah, look, I, I hope our fans are behind us trying new things. And I think when you have a game like Crossy Road, um, you know, I, I think you could probably drown in, in like, can we please everyone? Can we do something for everyone? And I think we'd probably get creative paralysis if we didn't just make a game that we thought, this is a great game where the Crossy Road characters make sense and it's definitely got an audience. Sort of like the Bit Trip series in a sense, right? You can take your characters and sort of the iconography that you've built yeah. and put it in a different scenario and still have it be enjoyable to that core audience. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I think we're being really true to the heart of what Crossy Road is all about here, and the characters can move into different games and have a different game, but it's still it's still Crossy Road at its core. And that's, like, it's amazing. Like, you guys are such a small team, and you've accomplished so much, you know? I mean, you talk about, like, you know, growing up in, like, arcades and playing arcades, but, like, now there's a Crossy Road arcade game. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's still... Honestly, like it's still for anyone in the team when they work, walk into an arcade and they see that machine, it's just, what? <laughs> like full circle, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think like arcade gaming and actually going to a place and playing arcade games has been a really big influence for this for this project, yeah. The App Store is such a like 
fickle beast and there's so many games on it really hard to find something that really sticks out or make something that really sticks out and then the way that crossy road does yeah look i think the special combination of having like these bright characters there's a lot of humor in there i think it's something approachable for a really wide range of people um yeah i i don't know right <laughs> it's like if we if we knew if everyone knew it would be easy <laughs> just it really it really hit that mark with people and um we're just yeah we're really still humbled by how much crossy road means to so many people yeah as a lifelong loyal pac-man fan i'd be remiss if i didn't <laughs> Like, bring up 256. Like, are you guys doing any more Pac-Man related stuff? Oh, you're actually going to ask me that question. <laughs> um, I mean, at the moment, no, we don't have that. But, I mean, you know, if these questions get asked, then we're going to think about it, aren't we? <laughs> Look, I want more Pac-Man in anything. Put Pac-Man in this game. Like, please, put him, put him everywhere. I will, I'll, I'll, I'm going to play your games either way. <laughs> Like, you don't put Pac-Man in Crossy Road Castle. We're still cool, but you could be a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try and be cooler. <laughs> yeah. But no, I just love it. It's just, it's just adorable. Like, we got this, we got these, like, flying rainbows and, like, kitty ca a kitty cat wearing a jazz hat, it looks like. And these, these bright pink backgrounds with this, like, very, like, classic style of platform play. Yeah, um, the costumes is actually something we find really fun to make and everyone at our studio already has like our main, so I'm the giraffe with, you know, the teapot hat, of course, whereas someone else is like, no, I am the duck with the cap and you can't be that. And I, I think like the characters um, mean so much to people and they represent, you know, like your selection of which character you are is, is really important and obviously in a multiplayer game it also um, makes a lot of sense that you can see who you are within the game. And then, you know, I just got to comment, like, the, the name Hipster Whale. Like, I'm, I'm from, you know, the Bay Area, San Francisco. Like, I've seen that dude walking around the Mission District before. <laughs> like, uh, where did, where did, I'm just curious, where did the name come from? Like, what, in, what inspired that? So I wasn't there, but I think I do know the origin story of our, of our name. I, uh, the two directors of the company, um, as they were coming up with what would this company be called, one of them drew a whale on a, on a napkin, I think it actually was, and you know pushed it across the table to the other, and then they drew glasses and a cup of coffee and a cap and was like, hipster whale. <laughs> and that's how it came about. And to be honest, that's kind of how a lot of our concepts come about is just our team having fun together. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's what's important. I mean, you got to have fun, like, doing it. Otherwise, what's what's the point, right? Yeah, I mean, if we're not laughing at it, probably no one else is going to laugh at it. And, um, like, getting... Watching someone else laugh at the things we've done is just... That's everything to us. Yeah. Awesome. Are there any cool new characters we're going to see that you can talk about in Crossy Road Castle or any, like, nice new uh, accessories? Yeah, um... There are new characters, so uh, you can see Blue right there in the background, actually, uh, and there are lots of unlockable characters for you to discover, so I won't give away what all of those are, but um, my favourite to find is uh, Giraffe. So. There you go. All right, well, well, we'll hunt down that giraffe when we get a chance, the special giraffe. And then is it still, like, are we still, like, using the capsule machines to uh, unlock things this time around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of Crossy Road has obviously come across that's, like, that's such an integral part of Crossy Road, so you'll still be unlocking um, unlocking your characters with coins in the machines. Yeah. So that's also, that's also a new thing, too. you got boss fights. Yeah, yeah. So every 30 levels you're going to encounter a boss fight, and it is an endless game, but it's got boss fights as a real challenge and, and you know break up the towers so yeah it's it is an endless game it's got lots of procedural elements so um every play is going to be different but yeah there's a structure that stays the same there people that want to play crossy road castle where can they go it's on arcade right now it just landed <laughs> All right, so just go to apple arcade and pick it up yep apple arcade that's where it's at and then if people want more more info on hipster well where can they find out more about hipster well Right. You can probably come to um, our website. That's uh, it's all there, hipsterwhale.com. 